Part C. Find the value of the sixth derivative of f evaluated at zero. So you can manage if you just want, if you just tried to find the sixth derivative of f, that would take you forever, and then to evaluate it at zero because this is x squared here, and you'd have to keep doing the product rule over and over again, the chain rule, and all the rest. It would become very, very, very messy. But we have a big clue here: the fact that they made us find the first four terms of the Taylor series of f about x equals zero tells us that there might be a simpler way to do this, as opposed to just taking the sixth derivative of this and evaluating it at zero. And the simplest way to do this is to just go back. In the last problem, we were able to come up with the first four non-zero terms of the Taylor series of f. And if you look at your definition of the Taylor series, you look at your definition of the Taylor series right here, and we go into depth this in another Khan Academy video where we talk about why this makes sense, you see that each degree term of the Taylor series, its coefficient, its coefficient is that derivative, and this Taylor series is centered around zero, and that's what we care about in, in, in terms of this problem. We see the coefficient is that derivative divided by divided by that degrees that derivative evaluated at zero divided by that degrees factorial. So the second degree term, it's the second derivative of f evaluated at zero divided by two factorial. The fourth degree term is the fourth derivative is the fourth derivative of f evaluated at zero divided by four factorial. So the the sixth degree term, the sixth degree term, let me let's remind ourselves what we're even trying to figure out. So they, they want us to figure out the sixth derivative of f evaluated at zero. That's what they want us to figure out. Well, if you if you think about the Taylor series centered at zero or at zero or approximated around zero, the sixth degree term in the Taylor series approximation of f is going to be f prime of it's going to be the sixth derivative of f evaluated at zero times x to the sixth over over six factorial. This is going to be the this is going to be the the sixth degree term sixth degree term in Taylor approximation in Taylor series Taylor series. And we have that term sitting right over here. This is the sixth degree term. We figured it out in the last problem. This right here is the sixth degree term. So you have x to the sixth over here, x to the sixth over here. You have six factorial over here, six factorial over here. So this negative 121, this negative 121 must be the sixth derivative of f evaluated at zero. So that's our answer. This is equal to negative 121. And we're done.